blah, blah, blah. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's finally the No Man's Sky 1.09 patch notes. Good lord, it's about time. I'm sorry these videos are so far and in between, but I legitimately cannot make these sorts of videos without official patch notes being released. I'm not one of those YouTubers who will wildly guess the new information brought with the patches. I'd rather just wait and bring you legitimate, true details on the updates. But... That's just me. Anyway, there's a lot to get through, so let's jump straight into it with the first batch of patch notes. The game is now much more robust at recovering corrupted save files. It was possible for players to circumnavigate obtaining the antimatter blueprint using very specific steps, leaving some players stranded in their second system. This is no longer possible. PC and PS4 Galaxy generation has been made more robust during compiling. Exosuit messaging system no longer confuses on planet and docked in station visor notifications, removing all doubt as to the location of the player's starship. Improved frame rate when scanning colossal structures such as space stations or outposts. So as you can see, this is much more of a bug fix patch than a feature update one. Here we hear about save file recovery, obtaining blueprints and frame rates. And what I really like about this update is the removal of confusion between on planet and docked in station notifications. This will make it a hell of a lot easier to know exactly where your ship is. And I'm loving how both PC and PS4 Galaxy generation has been made more robust. So the creation of the system planets, landscapes, you name it, has been made much more sturdy and less buggy. Great news! Fix for some terrain resources being indestructible and therefore unminable. Exosuit messaging system now able to correctly differentiate between resource types. Deposits discovered by scans will now display as the correct element. GEC factory door manufacturing standards have been improved. They no longer take critical hits from grenades. Drone vandalism detection improved, wanted level now increases when destroying factory doors, however powerful the player's multi-tool may be. Again, we have more small fixes here. The stuff about terrain is really helpful. There's been plentiful amounts of times that I've tried to mine a seemingly mineable piece of terrain and have simply been stopped in my tracks. So that's great that the issue has been resolved. This update is really great for fixing a bunch of small things like this, and it's also nice to see how the game still have a sense of humour with Gek Factory Door Manufacturing Standards have been improved. If only Hello Games' Game Manufacturing Standards improved as well, right? Oh, savage. Anyway guys, I'm just going to read the rest of the patch notes out because they are really small. Fixes that I can't quite comment on, but what I want to know is, is how would you change the game? If you were making a patch for No Man's Sky, what would you fix or change? The patch notes should be scrolling down the screen right now if you want to read alongside me, or you can simply go to the description down below to read for yourself. Pulse drive systems now fully offline during warping. Players are no longer able to open crates of any type if their inventory is full, no matter the contents preventing loss of resources. When interacting with a terminal, it will print out the player's journey progression. Some strings in this printout were cut off in Asian languages. These now display correctly in all supported languages. Fixed an occasional bug within the exosuit system that caused controller prompts to display the wrong button. Changes to player standing with the Gek, Vikeen and Korvax now display correctly within the stats menu. Fix for a loss of resources when transferring fully stacked items between the player's starship and exosuit in a specific order. Fix for stacking products exploit. Resources salvaged from dismantled technologies now fill inventory slots as expected. Exosuit and starship messaging system now always displays the correct number of collected resources. Discovery menu improvements including fixes for incorrectly displayed planet names or creatures displaying as their molecular structure. Discovery menu now supports planets with an abundance of life, specifically planets featuring 15 creature types can now reach 100% completion. Multi-tool, beam, coolant and exosuit aeration membrane upgrades now increase their respective stat wheels as expected. The players can no longer buy multiple products when they do not have enough slots to do so, preventing loss of both the unit cost and the extra products. Japanese localization fixes including scrolling, text issues, overlapping prompts in the ship menu system, the messaging system, and multi-tool names displaying incorrectly. Fixed clip text on save game restore buttons in all supported languages. Fixed errant title bar on the menu screen. Player standing now updates in real time when interacting with members of the Gek, Vikeen and Korvax races. Minor fix for saves of a duration less than 2 minutes displaying as 1 minutes. Improvements to various settings within the options menu, including advancements in mouth smoothing and refined gamma settings allowing for increased tenebrosity. Yeah, I, I don't know either. 
Fix for creature generation crash. Fixes to prevent FPS spikes when encountering momentary performance bumps on PS4. Fix the rare issue where pressing and holding a button would cause the game to crash under specific circumstances. Creature footfall now audibly echoes within caves. Fix for perpetual daytime if the player updates in a specific order. Bump shader version numbers for patch 1.09. Fix for a rare situation where players saved could get stuck in a crash leap due to saving at a very specific point in planet generation. Improved detection of available PC CPU cores and optimized settings for low end CPUs with a few CPU cores. So there we are guys, those are all the patch notes for No Man's Sky's 1.09 update. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, make sure you give the video a like and subscribe for more No Man's Sky patch updates as soon as they come out, as soon as the patch notes are released. This has been Steve, that has been No Man's Sky, checkpoint complete.